The manager of a store that specializes in selling exotic tea decides to experiment with a new blend. She will mix some jasmine tea that sells for $5 per pound with some hibiscus tea that sells for $3 per pound to get 100 pounds of the new blend. The selling price of the new blend is to be $4.50 per pound. And there is to be no difference in revenue from selling the new blend versus selling the other types. How many pounds of jasmine tea and how many pounds of hibiscus tea are required? This is a typical college algebra problem in the US. Uh, most US textbooks would have a problem of this type. Uh, you could have coffee blends, uh, mixed nuts, but it's essentially the same problem. So we'll go ahead and solve this problem algebraically. But if you want to try the problem on your own, please pause the video right now and try the problem. In order to solve the problem, we'll first define our variables very carefully. We actually will need only one variable, so we're going to use x to represent the pounds of jasmine tea the manager needs. So we can say say that if she needs x pounds of jasmine tea then she will need 100 minus x pounds of hibiscus tea. Where did this 100 come from? Because her blend should contain 100 pounds of the two types of tea. So if she uses x pounds of jasmine tea she will need 100 minus x pounds of hibiscus tea. What I have here, I have a table. I have a table here, jasmine tea the weight she needs is x pounds and if that's the case hibiscus tea she will need 100 minus x pounds of hibiscus tea. What I have here is the same table with another row added to it and what I'm trying to show here is that total weight of the blend is to be 100 pounds. Now I added another column here. This column is important because we are using numbers from our problem. Now if I need, if she needs X pounds of jasmine tea and one pound of jasmine tea costs five dollars, the total cost of X pounds of jasmine tea would be five times X. If one pound of hibiscus tea costs three dollars, the total cost of hundred minus X pounds of hibiscus tea will be three times hundred minus X. And the total cost of the blend will be five X plus three times hundred minus X. So this cell is simply the sum of this and this. And you want to pause the video and genuinely understand where these terms are coming from. What we're going to do now is the most important step. We're going to construct our equation involving x. How do we do that? Let's read the question or this part of the question once again. Uh, we know that she's going to need 100 pounds of the blend and the selling price of the new blend is to be $4.5 per pound. So the total selling price of the 100, uh, of the 100 pounds of the blend will be 4.5 times 100 which is 450. Now from the table we can say the total cost of the blend is going to be 5x plus 3 times 100 minus x that has to equal 450. Once again you want to pause the video here and absolutely understand why we are making that claim. We are claiming this expression has to equal has to equal 450. Why? Because according to the question 100 pounds of the blend should cost $450 and, and with the help of the variables we concluded that the total cost of the 100 pounds should be 5x plus 3 times 100 minus x. They better be equal. So now we have our equation F right here. 5x plus 3 times 100 minus x is equal to 450. What we're going to do next is solve this equation for x. So what we're going to do here is we're going to solve the equation. This equation comes from the previous slide, the equation that we established. In order to solve it, I'm going to first distribute 3 over 100 minus x and that gives me 300 minus 3x. 5x minus 3x is 2x and I still have my 300 and 450. 
I subtract 300 from both sides and that gives me 2x is equal to 150. So x is 75. So I concluded that the blend will have to have 75 pounds of jasmine tea. How many pounds of hibiscus tea does she need? Obviously 25 pounds. So we are going to write our answer here. Jasmine 75 pounds hibiscus 25 pounds. Why 25 pounds? Because the two types of tea should add up to 100 pounds. That's why. That's our answer.